You're ready to try TikTok style videos for learning and development, but who are you gonna get in front of the camera in order to be your content creator? Well, friends, have you ever thought instead of a subject matter expert to actually use your own employees? What? Scary, I know. Well, in this video, I'm gonna give you all of the benefits and how to get people involved as content creators at your organization. Hello, hello, my name is Vanessa Alzate, the founder and CEO of Anchor Training, a custom learning and development agency and staff augmentation agency as well. And what we do is utilize principles that we're learning in marketing and in social media in your learning content. So you may be thinking to yourself, girl, you're crazy. No one will want to be a content creator. And you're right, not everyone will, be, will want to be a content creator, nor should everybody be a content creator. However, we also have mentoring programs, right? Not everyone should be a mentor and not everyone wants to be a mentor. It's about finding the right people in your organization and maybe showing them that they can do this, that being in front of the camera, sharing their tips and their tricks can be done and can be done easily. Now that I have your attention, let's talk about what an actual content creator is for an organization. So often your employees are truly the best sources for tips, tricks, best practices, ways to be more efficient, uh, all those little things that you say to yourself, I was today years old when I learned that the system can do this. Often we turn to the learning and development department to actually source and curate all that information. But that's a lot for an L&D department that's pulled in a million different directions and working with a ton of different departments. So just like the all the benefits of the mentoring program, I do believe a content creation program could be super beneficial to your organization. It helps get all the information out of the heads of your best employees and shared with others. Imagine your best employee, the one that's super efficient, you know, always going above and beyond, you know, really knows the systems and the processes inside and out. There are a lot of things that they just know, like they can look at something and say, boom, you know, this is what I'm going to look at when I'm looking at this type of file. This is how I know that something is missing in this sort of file. It would be amazing to be able to take all that information from their heads, those little tips and tricks and put it out onto paper or put it out into some sort of, um, you know, TikTok style video. Often we want to sit down and curate all of that information into some sort of formalized training. But honestly, some of those tips and tricks you only use once in a while. So if you put it into the, the initial training, it if they're not actually utilizing any of that information immediately, then it's just gonna go in one ear and out the other. So that's why creating a, a place, a library of TikTok style videos and tips and tricks that your um, employees can then go and search and find um, you know, what they need in that moment, that is a lot more retainable, that is a lot more usable as opposed to jumping into that initial training. For example, I'm working with an organization now and they curate media pieces, um, art pieces for a pharmaceutical company. And when they get their art file, from different agencies that are helping them to create all of these different pieces, they need to have a librarian or someone that's actually going in and checking all of the files and seeing what might be missing. They don't necessarily need to know how to uh, fix the problem um, or specifically identify like what exactly the issue is and what exactly is missing, but they need to know enough to be able to at least provide some direction just to help facilitate the ease of um, that communication back and forth as opposed to just sending it back and saying whatever is missing or completely not, not realizing that something is missing and then putting something into their library that is um, not able to be used. This art director come to us and say, you know, I wanna create a training to help teach them all of these tips and tricks of what they should know. And I sat there and I said, that initial training, like, yeah, that's gonna be great to give her or he the overall of like what to look for. However, in the actual moment, if there is something that they don't always do, they're gonna forget. So what can we provide them so they continuously remember and they can continuously go back to to reference in case they're, they're getting stuck somewhere or just to kind of review over and over, kind of like that TikTok repetitiveness in order to, you know, help ingrain that in the, as a tip and trick and um, ingrain that in their memory. The other thing I found so interesting in this conversation as I was thinking about it was over time, you know, she shared that they want to build this program and there will be more of this person who's coming in that will be utilizing in this role because um, they're in the middle of, you know, an expansion. And I thought, hmm, there are probably going to be other things that come up in the role 
that, that this person, this particular person is going to know, going to remember, you know, the new roles. So there's going to be new tips, new tricks. Like, wouldn't it be great if they can create these TikTok style videos in order to um, provide those tips and those tricks and like really curate that library to help really build out that training. And then when you go to update your foundational training, instead of spending so much time with that subject matter expert, you could also utilize that content that you've already started pulling together and pull some of those tips and tricks into that foundational training. So there's just all these different ways in order to utilize TikTok style videos in order to get all of these things that we know out on paper. But but back to actually getting people you know wanting to become content creators here's the thing you don't always have to be on camera in order to create content there's plenty of tiktok videos out there that are tips on software tips on like excel just showing clips throughout the day um, that you never actually even see the creator so you can put forth those types of examples to your employees and say hey if you don't want to be on camera here is um, you know an example of something that you can create that doesn't include any sort Sort of you know you being on camera dancing pointing just a matter of getting that information out there I also believe that we are in a very interesting place um, in our workforce where we have this whole new pool of employees that are coming into you know our organizations right all of those Gen Z's who frankly are very used to <laughs> having a camera stuck in front of their faces. We've been doing it since the moment that they were born. Being on camera, you know, sharing tips and tricks, like that's not anything new for them. Um, they're actually quite used to it. And you be, might be surprised, some of them may have had a YouTube channel or may have their own TikTok channel where they share tips and tricks or like have like a side hustle where they're sharing financial tips or something. Capitalize on that, utilize that, ask people. I think we're often so afraid to ask because we assume that the answer is going to be no, that you just never know. They may say yeah I would love to be able to you know curate tips and tricks if people want to send them in I'll go and I'll film them you know I'll go and I'll record it I'll go and I'll share it you can pick people in your organization that are more uh, you know inclined uh, to be on camera to more have more of that presence and can build that like know and trust within your organization to be that spokesperson for that department and so then your subject matter experts that don't really feel comfortable being on camera they could at least feed that information to that person and you can start to curate it it's time that we start to think outside of traditional roles and responsibilities because we know the workforce is changing we know the world is changing how we interact has changed and so this is just one new way that we can change um, and take things incrementally take things slowly try it out but here is my thing um, with TikTok right um, and content creators if you are going to move into this direction just like with your mentoring program you need to have some sort of incentive in order to incentivize your your people to actually share these tips and tricks take the time out of their day to film it and all of those things and if you're going to make certain people like content creators and make that their role it can't be their role on top of something else right so they can't be doing two people's roles and um, because to create good content and to really you know do it fully it does take time you can't just like throw on a camera and always is just like be on right so really a, a look at their job description and think you know what are some things that we can readjust pull off so that they could have more time in order to do this because this is a value for organization and we know it is something that is going to be helpful for us in the future and look some of you may be thinking Vanessa we can't use TikTok at work well friend it is not about using TikTok it's about looking at that style a style that has captured an entire industry right social media platforms are adopting this short form version vertical content style and taking that and developing it for your organization and utilizing what is work and what's capturing your employees attention when they're not at work or maybe while they're at work too. <laughs> so I want you to really think outside the box, take that platform and say, what can we look at and what can we learn from this? And content creators can be the next big job. I believe that there's going to be plenty of people that would love to be a content creator for an organization and to really help bring them into, you know, the new, the new world, right? Where we are more social, more open, more global, um, and where we need to reach different people. And video can be a way to do that and a way to build like no, no and trust with your employees um, and people outside of your organization that we couldn't necessarily do before. We were not capitalizing on video. 
least not as much. So if you're interested in learning more about how to build a content creator program at your organization or how to use TikTok for learning and development and apply the principles to your next training, please reach out to me. Our information is all down below and I'd love to have this conversation with you. I light up whenever we talk about TikTok and social media and learning and development. Friends, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.